What's going on guys? This is Derek Tindall with Southern Style Management Lawn Care. Today I'm going to show y'all the installation of a new uh, trimmer line spool holder that we're putting on the trailer. Uh, you gotta have your tools. We're trying out this new ugly line we got at Lowe's. It's a lot cheaper than the gator line we've been using and I think it will work just as well. Uh, so basically you're going to get your bracket, put it where you want it, mark it. It's pretty simple. They had instructions, but they were kind of iffy, so I just kind of winged it. Um, you're going to want to drill through. This trailer's super thick, so we're going to be drilling for a while. I got the uh, the heavy-duty trailer, and it's it definitely lives up to that name. I had to start it out with a pallet hole because it needs a 3 8 bit to um, actually get the 3 8 bolt through. But I started with this. It's super small, so it goes through easily. And then I'm going to swap to the 3.8 bit. I sped this up for you guys so y'all didn't have to watch me drill for an hour on this trailer. So pretty much you just drill two holes and that's it. So it's not bad insulation. So I drill this out. This isn't going to go through, but it basically lets me know that the holes are where they're going to be. So whenever I keep walling it out with smaller drill bits, it doesn't get off course. <clears throat> As you'll see in a second, I actually put the bracket up to it to make sure that it's a correct fit. Set your bracket up there, make sure it's lined up, good to go. And just start going, you know, a little bigger every time until you can get through it. It's a super thick trailer. I had to do the same thing with my weed eater racks. I should have made a video on that, but I was in a rush to get to get to work. So that's the old school baby gravely on the trailer. We got the new Pro Turn 152 now. That's a, that is now the backup, the ZT48. Good mower, just not as big as what we needed. All right, so right here, keep drilling. Still not wanting to go through. So I had to wallow it one more time. I don't think I got that on video, but pretty much I had to wallow it one more time. And I don't know the bit. The bit may be a little dull from putting on the weed eater racks because I mean that's some serious steel on this trailer. I I chose to put it on this side just because I really don't use that area. My spare tires right there, kind of in the way, and I didn't want to put it on the back where I actually do climb over. I mean, because the weed eaters are already on the side, <clears throat> and this is the side I pull it to the yard, so the string 90% of the time will be right there. Are right, you going to put your bolt and a washer through? on the top and of course you're going to want to put a washer and then the lock nuts on the back you stick it in you got a washer and a bolt and on the back you want to put a washer and just hand tighten the lock nuts and they did come with lock nuts and it does come with hardware by the way this is a LT40 spool bracket you can get them on Amazon for about 20 bucks alright when you tighten it up you don't want to tighten it up all the way you just want to get it you know snug that way you can move slide the bottom up and down to the size of the spool that you're using because no spools are the same and I don't think it'll it'll hold the super wide spools but it could I, but I don't think it does so you see I just put that on there and got it tight pulled it off tightened it up I didn't have to tighten it up on video but so that's it man it doesn't it doesn't come with a cutter <clears throat> But the string I use comes with a cutter, and I'm just going to leave it attached. You slide your spool on, slide the top through, and there's some net. You're going to have to take off the rubber band that's on there, and you want it tight. That way, you know, it doesn't unspool on you going down the road. But I actually leave that green netting on all the time. That way, it doesn't, you know, keeps it from spooling out on you. But that's it. I mean, that's installed. I mean, you can do it within 10, 15 minutes. You have your line right there. I mean, easy access. I mean, what else? What else could you want? But anyway, <clears throat> I'm gonna pull this rubber band off. Those things are a hassle. And you put that string about half. I had to loosen it a little bit right there. It's kind of tight. But I always tighten it when I get done pulling the string off. That way, it doesn't <clears throat> doesn't want to roll going down the road. You can mount this thing sideways or flat. I chose to do it sideways. I think it worked out pretty good. 
loop it around and use the cutter that's on there that's it guys that's how you install it now, I couldn't leave without showing the uh, the new girl not her that's Anna that's the new girl pro turn 152 alright guys like subscribe ask questions um, I'll be more than happy to answer them if y'all want to know anything just uh, give me a holler we'll get it figured out appreciate it